I'm done playing Lancelot. I'm sorry to my viewers who are watching only my Lancelot gameplays, my channel only for Lancelot content. But I came to this decision, so I will stop playing Lancelot. Or at least that's what I would say three years ago, when I actually quit playing Lancelot for three years. And now I am back and I want to play Lancelot again. Of course, there are some problems because I don't uh, have the skill anymore. I'm rusty. I'm slow hands. But anyway, you know, everything can be done with uh, enough practice, so I will get back in shape hour or later. The reason why I uh, actually stopped playing Lancelot. Uh, the first and I think the most important one was the squad I had. I managed to get to find some very nice peoples, you know, in like uh, managed to find some really nice peoples to play with. Like we had fun, we were doing good together, we synergized uh, a lot in the games, like we had very very good synergy even if we weren't some professional players or whatever and it took some time to find those people to play enough games to know each other even if we you have syner synergy with somebody you still need to play a hundred games with that person at least to you know to know him how, how he's thinking in some situations and stuff it took some time to to find this team to and uh, to make it and to get to that level where we could uh, play 5q against uh, almost anybody or actually anybody uh, and do really good and win a lot of matches and that's what we did we had a season where we try hard a lot and after that seasons that season because in europe server we haven't we don't have competitive uh, uh pro scenes or competitive things uh, some people because of uh, getting bored you know some people from my team because of getting bored by having no reason no motivation to keep playing the game of course there are more reason to focus on real life like uh, uh, college or um, high school or work or family or whatever not in a game so that's how a few people from the squad quitted they had to focus in real life they had no reason to play the game anymore because they reach a very high rank and there was nothing to it you know just a very high rank in the game and that, that was it high rank high win rate and global and you know that was it so i was left without a squad because some people quit because of real life and the others like didn't did, uh, we didn't stick together anymore after that it's the, pretty much the main people quit. That, that was the, the, the actual problem anymore. It was the main people who who quitted the squad. And that's that's one thing, you know, one reason, the squad, which was the main the main thing pretty much. And the second reason was uh Lancelot uh, revamp. Uh, by the way, all those reasons came one after another. It wasn't like in, in a very short time. All of those happened, you know. It wasn't like it happened now and after a year happened the next reason or something. It was all one after another. So it was uh, Lancelot revamp, which was really, really, really weird. And it took me a bit to get used to it. A revamp of, of first skill. But that wasn't a huge problem. It was something which, you know, didn't uh, like... <laughs> How, how to put it it's like you work so hard to achieve something for so long because i had spent hours and hours and hours in practice mode to get uh, better with my uh, uh, first skill on lancelot or the old first skill of lancelot and play thousands of games to get as good as i was then and they just change it you know they just wrap me from my uh, uh, all my time spent to to get uh, to that level and i was like i, I felt like robbed by uh, from my uh, the, the time i invested in everything but i got over it you know I, because we need to understand it's a game the game is evolving even if that wasn't an evolution the uh, the, the the revamp on lancelot first skill is just a way to make him much easier to, to play for uh, the people who doesn't uh, want to spend a thousand of hours or tens of hours in practice to to get uh, very good with so they made he, him very easy so right now most of the people can 
have fun with him even if they doesn't spend thousands of hours to practice. Of course, if you spend thousands of hours to practice, you will get much better than those people. But even those people with like a few games can play him now and do good anyway. There's a third reason, uh, which uh, is the uh, uh, meta, the tank meta. It was the uh, tank meta where uh, most of the assassins became just useless and unplayable and not worth it. And that tank, tank meta was a very long one. Feels forever. Like it was, I think, one or two, no, I think two years of tank meta. Tank and fighter tank meta. It was just cringe. Just cringe, and you couldn't play assassins in high uh, rank games, or you get the idea. You just couldn't play assassins and do something. It was almost impossible. And then uh, some people uh, figure out the Lancelot tank meta. Lancelot tank meta was actually a really good one because you could play Lancelot tank and play as an assassin with a tank build and be tank and you know but the problem was with Lancelot tank meta you needed to have a team you couldn't carry games with Lancelot tank in solo queue that was almost impossible so I tried I played I enjoyed I tried in solo and duo in trio in 5q Lancelot tank uh, uh, meta I enjoyed but I just couldn't carry the games. I was losing a lot of games with MVP in solo queue or duo even sometimes. You really need good carry heroes to play with people who play good carry heroes, carry roles uh, to carry the match in late game when you play Tanky Lancelot. And even then wasn't that good because Tanky Lancelot was uh, for objectives and not for uh, a lot of kills. And in solo queue, you know, you have to do to play my m uh, or at least to balance playing for kills and for objectives because if you play f fully for objectives in solo queue your randoms will just fit because they will always be uh, 4 versus 5 because you will play for objectives enemy team will play for kills your randoms will fight because they don't know to play for objectives or to wait for the team fight and you know so on so on and they will feed you will farm and you, you will wake up that enemy team has more fun than you and you need just to play for both kills and uh, objectives at the same time if you want to win in solo queue. And this was about tank. Yeah, I couldn't play Lancelot tank because of this. And the four reason, the four reason, which is more of a personal one, I uh, changed the location. I moved from the place I li lived. I used to live for uh, so long to another. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, the effect of this was the lag because where I was the city where I lived before was much closer to the game servers and I had a better MS I was uh, from so put it like this from 25 to 30 stable thing stable MS I moved to 35 40 most of the times 40 to 50 thing which is have which also have spikes it's not stable you may think that from 25 30 to 40 50 ping is not a big difference and uh, let's say you get used to it and you can adapt but the problem is i also have a lot of spikes and this is because i'm now i'm not that close to the server as i used to be there was a decision i had to maybe i mean at that time i didn't knew I will have this issue if I move because probably I wouldn't but you know right now the thing is done and I just don't uh, feel like moving back just for the game because just to have a better ping maybe Munutun will uh, at some point will add more servers in Europe because the Balkan part of the Europe has no servers and we need to play with high MS on other servers and now I want to start playing Lancelot again I felt like the tank meta it's over now tanks and assassin has kind of the same uh, power uh, kind of similar for the jungle at least for rank i know in pro scenes it's different but at least for rank same so i really enjoy again playing lancelot hopefully motun will not uh, 
revamp him somehow again because he I feel like he is really balanced right now. He's not good but not bad either. If you uh, practice enough you can carry with him. So I wanna uh, start playing Lancelot again. This will take a bit of time to get used to playing assassins like Lancelot with uh, this ping I'm playing now with uh, 40 to 50 ms uh, to play like 100, 200, 300 match and do a few hours of practice mode to get better with his first skill I can make freestyle montages which, you know, I really love making freestyle montages I, uh, that, that was, uh, I think that was the the uh, that was the main reason I made a lot of uh, montages because I really enjoy in creating them and editing them and also watching them. I was watching my own montages a lot of times just because I enjoy them. I know it will take a while till I get uh, back in shape so to be as good as I used to be and I want to make a lot of montages with Lancelot again, maybe other assassin to, assassins too, not only Lancelot and uh, want to start uploading more videos again because I had a long break from uploading videos I don't know what the heck happened happened with me but I really when I started all of this really enjoy making videos really enjoy maybe I don't know I really enjoy everything from making videos to um, edit the videos to play the game to play the heroes to whatever right now I need to get back in that uh, form because I know I'm in a form where I'm lazy and I don't feel like doing anything for some reason. But I will get back. You get the idea. Yeah, I'ma train hard, mistakes turn into learned scars To build a brickyard, it's one by one, each bar So build it tall, build it strong, build it large And build a base first, so reliable, you can reach the stars Night's so bright, I can feel the rays My lungs feel tight, I can barely breathe Sleepless nights, waiting for the day I wanna be strong, wanna be brave Surrender, I am a contender I gotta be strong, gotta be brave 